Hawaii Volcano National Park is undergoing multiple construction projects as part of the disaster recovery efforts following the 2018 Kilauea eruption and the summit collapse. These initiatives aim to repair, upgrade, and enhance facilities for safety, accessibility, and cultural preservation. As of today, November 22nd, several projects are ongoing or nearing completion amid the park's active Kilauea summit eruption, now over 35 episodes since December of 2024. They expect episode 36 to start at any time. Stick with me, I'm going to jump into these details. Perhaps you live there or you're planning to visit Hawaii in the near future. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. It's awesome that you're here with me once again. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Visitors should anticipate traffic delays, detours, limited parking, and closures, especially near the entrance and Kilauea Summit. Always check the official NPS website or app for real-time updates. Here's a summary of the major projects based on the latest reports. Kilauea Visitor Center, KVC Renovation. Full renovation, including new restrooms, a covered pavilion, and structural steel supports expanded space for the Hawaii Pacific Parts Parks Association and for the store. Conversion of the office into a visitor area and bilingual exhibits in English and Oleo, Hawaii. Septic installation is in progress. Currently, there is no water station available, so you have to bring your own water, or you can purchase it at a Volcano House. Parking is limited, and portable toilets are nearby. The construction for the Kilauea Visitor Center is expected to be completed by 2027, and that is subject to change. The Yugahuna Observation Deck and Restroom Restoration that was deconstructed back in 2018 because of damage to the building and infrastructure. So they have a new dark sky compliant lighting, restrooms, and deck. Now that's been open since spring of this year. And they do have a bottle filling station um, in that area. It is accessible for eruption viewing. Drinking fountain is available. Minor delays from nearby work. That work is complete, but there is doing some finishing touch-ups that are still ongoing. The entrance road for the roundabout on Crater Rim Drive. The new roundabout west of the entrance station for safer traffic, um, plus an additional administrative lane, part of the broader Crater Rim Drive realignment. That was completed in September of this year, and it reduces congestion. Um, there's currently no impacts, but yeah, keep mo you know monitor it for residual adjustments, and that area is supposedly complete. Hawaii Electric Hoko Line relocation and replacement that involved hole drilling and power pole replacement along Highway 11 to improve island-wide electricity or electrical reliability. And that's going to be ongoing uh, through this year. It should be finished by next year, 2026. But there's intermediate lane closures currently going on. Yeah, with the digging. And you can expect delays along that road. Expect delays entering and exiting the park, especially during peak eruption, eruption viewing times. The Jagger Museum was not rebuilt. The observatory is being moved to the University of Hawaii at Hilo campus. A new field station is being planned west of Kilauea Military Camp. Water and different amenities there at the park. Currently, no park providing water at KVC, so you have to bring your own or buy it at Volcano House, and I imagine that would be a little expensive. There is portable valve toilets that are available at multiple overlooks, such as Kilauea, Devastation uh, Trail, and Chain of the Craters Road at the end. 
Kilauea's ongoing activity, episode 37, is, is expected soon. Uh, it does cause stop-and-go traffic up to four miles before the entrance. The stop-and-go traffic is uh, <laughs> going to be bad, um, and it's being caused by the construction. Entrance fees is $30 per vehicle, and it's good for seven days. Free guided programs continue daily at the summit, but please check the summit calendar for holidays. Expect crowds. The cultural festival is postponed for this year. Yeah, so remember, you're going to have to bring your own water. Expect delays and traffic flows going into the park up to four miles. Oh, my goodness. But it's only $30 per vehicle. And those uh, entrance fees or the tags or whatever they give you, they're good for seven days. I hope you found this um, information very helpful if you're planning to go there. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll keep you up to date for information as it comes in. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.